So, um, you guys, you ready? Yeah. So, um, April Thorne just taught a West Coast swing dance lesson. Dinaka here is um, going to help show what Don't we do did that. in class. Um, we started off actually in a natural hand hold, and we did a right side pass for one, two, three, up, four, five, uh, six. Making a hand change right there just to get into a right to right. Then what we did is we gave her a left side pass for one, two, roll her in, three, up top of the shoulder, five, a uh, six, roll her right back out. Keeping it really basic and simple right there, just working our way up into the pattern, right? So again, from this side, one, two, roll her in, three, up, four, and guys, you can set her to the side or here, it's up to you what, how you uh, anchor your stuff right there, okay? Um, then what we did is we advanced on and we from that right to right um, I got the leads used to using the left hand remembering leads that you're still leading from the right hand this left hand here is just an illusion don't let it mess with your left right brain coordination too much I know that some of us were having a little bit difficult um, but that we get in the beginning but then we got it so we're going to just offer it to her for one two three uh, four and five uh, six and what we did there was we led her into a rock and go action. So it just feels very much the same way when you're leading her into a whip back together forward, but you know, we're doing that from her back. But if you did a one-handed whip, guys, one, two, three, uh, four, five, six, seven, uh, eight, it would feel very much the same way, okay? So from that right to right again, we're gonna give her a left side pass, bringing her in, and taking her into that rock and go action. So we got used to using the double hand hold. Once we got used to using that double hand hold, what we did was we advanced the footwork on you, and instead of doing the cross step, we stepped back and got close to the lady for one, two, three, uh, four, five, uh, six, tucking it back behind her here instead of crossing over and advancing out. You want to get really close right here because what we did next was a really cool tandem turn, okay? So ladies, when you get led into a tandem turn, um, your goal is to stay in sync with your partner so that we're, we're you know, staying uh, the rotation process at the same time so it looks good and feels good. So as we step through leads, you're going to pivot on your right foot and do a left triple for trip, pull, step. Oh, good, good, good. Perfect. Right there. So I took three steps going around and I released the hand right there on the uh, eight and caught Dina's back right there. And all I'm going to do right now is just let her float down for uh, the count on that was uh, 11 to 12, I think, by the time we got down to the end of that. And I kind of keep her on a little bit of a climber's grip and then making sure she doesn't get too overextended there um, as she floats on down. It's just kind of a nice little, oh, there we are, and let's not go any further because we want to keep our legs engaged so we don't get that overextension feeling right there. So the whole thing together, to the count. And one, two, three, uh, four, five, uh, six. Let's do that again. Yeah, really good. And one, two, three, uh, four, five, uh, six. And one, two, three, uh, four, five, uh, six, seven, uh, eight. Woo. No, I didn't get my rotation in time. You took off without me. Wait, sorry. Wait, it's okay. Just wait for me. Go again. <laughs> and one, two, three, uh, four. Five, uh, six, wait for me, seven, uh, eight, there we go, nine, good job, all right, okay, thank you.